Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Washington has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Walker from the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. it out to about the 40. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40 yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Incomplete. Owens is tending to see the play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Tackle made at the 46. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Rose, and it's knocked away. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From the 46-yard line, second down. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Steps up, going deep. Almost intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Joseph is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. 
to the receiver, and it's knocked away. They come out on an empty backfield. He heaves it deep. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Johnson takes this up. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fires quick. He's got another one. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. to the tight end and that ball's incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. And he's going to come up with a sack. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. He steps out around the 15-yard line. Washington is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Horned Frogs come into the game ranked number 13 in the country. And for PCU, they've moved into the lead. The Horned Frogs are on top, 13-7. Reese, 3-0 here. The Huskies, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Wood fields it at the 7. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Washington's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. One play and he'll lose yards. That makes it second and ten. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. The Huskies saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. They hand it off. Gets out to about the 31. That'll bring up a punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Livingston back to returning. And he 
he's tackled at the 49-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Washington is up a field goal. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That'll bring up second and three. They hand it off. Tackle at about the 41. Taken down around the 30-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. 45, come on. And he's tackled at the 28. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Huskies lead 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Third down and they need to get it down to the 20. Finds his receiver and that's a first down. They'll bring him down around the 13-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Washington is up by three. Nice run there. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. He's taken down at the seven yard line. receiver no good too low for his man in the end zone i thought the quarterback looked a little flustered he was unsure where to go with the ball fourth down this should be an easy field goal it's up and it sails through the uprights let's throw it out to reese now for a studio update the wildcats roll into this one ranked number 19 in the land and for kansas state they love to unleash their running attack. A nifty zip into the end zone for the score. The Wildcats are out front, 14-7. All right, thanks, Reese. The Huskies. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. The 50. He goes down at the 39. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Quick throw, brought down at the 34-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. From the 34-yard line, second down. Gets it to his tight end, but it's not loose. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes. The 
the 24-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. Taken down in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 13. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Rams! Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. He makes the PAT. A nice six play, 39 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 7 6. Colorado State ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 37-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taking off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. He's got an opening. He's at the 40. And they tackle him at the 38. That's a team of three right on the way. First down. Three down, three down. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 35. Outside after a nice pickup. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. Take him down immediately. Williams picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Washington is going to use their first time out of the half here. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. And they make the stop around the 12-yard line. Brad, it's a, it's a first down. And, and I, obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get. And that's into the end zone. Quick throw, incomplete. One of his receiver. Joseph, the intended receiver on the play. This is the ninth play of this drive. And 
and he's level at the four-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. converts the extra point. A 10-play, 61-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Walker from the five. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Colorado State's going to take their first time out of the half. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 31. to the running back and he pulls in another one. Broussard picks up about four yards with a catch. Pulls it in, first down and he's knocked out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. They'll spread the field with five wide. Ball's completely stopped immediately. Tackle at the 21 yard line. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Huskies lead 13-7. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Ah. Uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is good. Fielded at the nine. Gets out to about the 31. So we're just about ready to return to action. Washington up six. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's a 12 on the play. 
First down. Two times, two times. Three down, three down. Dunbar gets another handoff. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 34. That's a game that's going to be on the That makes it first and 10. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Second down, seven to go. Ball on the 31. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. throw caught by the fullback and he's taken down at the 25 Turner gains four yards on that reception so they're gonna go for it here makes it out to about the 13 first down Washington is up by six. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That brings him second and five. From the nine yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Washington. Tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Horned Frogs were ranked number 13. They took care of business, and they should hold their spot next week. And for TCU, they've won two straight. The Horned Frogs leap to victory, 30 to 7. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. The Huskies saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gives it to the back. He fights forward to about the 26. That makes it second and eight. From their own 26-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. That's good for a of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. down quickly. That's a deep five on the way. That'll bring up fourth and one. Reynolds awaits the snap. And he muffed it. That's a tough break. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's wrapped up for the sack. 
his quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 17-yard line, second down. Wheeler takes it up the middle, and he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings us third and ten. He's under pressure, and he's tackled around the 43-yard line. First down. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 48. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Check, 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 check. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Get you, get you. Quick pass. Got an opening. He's at the 40. Brought down at the 29 yard line. Call it a gain of 23 yards. That makes it first and 10. Here's an opening. Tackled after decent pickup. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. That'll bring up second and three. They don't want it. Mike 40, Mike 40. Yeah, do not. Here he goes. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. That's a deal of play. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. 20 to 7, Washington. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Tenth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. They'll line it up again on third down. Throws it and oh, he dropped it. Schmidt is the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. The kick is up and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Walker takes it at the four. They'll bring him down at the 30 yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Some open field. He makes his way to about the 42. From their own 42 yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 43. In the shotgun and five wideouts. 
And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll bring up 30 more. Third and long now after the sack. Four down, four down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Ready. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. The ball pops free. And the ball bounces out of bounds. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Good tackle there in space. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled at the 31. That makes it first and 10. Two times, two times. He's at the 20. Tackle made at the 15. And the run is good for big yardage. Good gain, and I think that's the exact same play they just ran. From the 15-yard line, first down. Got an opening. Touchdown, Huskies. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Washington is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 24. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. First down grab. And they make the stop at around the 44-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Just under two to go in the game. quickly and that was almost picked you like a team that's ready to defend the pass it takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that second down 10 to go ball on the 44 goes a laser across the middle and down he goes at about the 31 this is what happens when a quarterback and a receiver forge a good connection. They trust each other. And even though that looked like a risky pass, I'm sure they both knew that it could work out. Going long. Got his receiver. Touchdown. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. They'll go for two in this situation. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Ready. They don't get it. A four-point. 
play 76 yard drive but the failed two point conversion keeps it a six point score boy that is scoring in a hurry this offense is looking more and more explosive brought down at the 42 yard line you know i've been so caught up in these offensive players the quarterback and the receivers and what's happening on the field I got to step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well. They ran the ball very well on their last drive and it resulted in six. He's at the 30. He gets to about the 27 yard line. First down. From the 27 yard line. First down. Under a minute left in the game. Nice run to the left there. That'll make it second and four. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And so that's going to do it. The Huskies come out on top, 30-13. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.